Hey guys, I'm Emily, and now that you've got your new butcher block, I'm gonna teach you how to take good care of it. Your block comes sealed with an oil and a wax, and that provides a protective surface to keep the yucky things you might be cutting from soaking into your block. So here is a block that has been well used and well loved, and it's time for a little refresh. We're gonna tackle these scratches on the surface. Um, it's really not hard to get rid of these. All you need is sandpaper. If you can't find a sanding block like this, you can just get any sandpaper from any hardware store and wrap it around like a deck of cards or a sponge, just something so that you can apply even pressure. We're gonna start sanding this with the grain. You don't ever wanna go across the grain. You wanna go with, it just keeps the wood smooth and makes it look nice and even. And I'm just gonna start gently sanding over. The main thing that you want to remember while you're sanding is to not get stuck on one area because you're not going to keep your board level. You want to make sure you're moving that block over the whole board evenly. Now that we've got all the extra sawdust cleaned up, I'm going to take a damp cloth and just give it a final little wipe down to get any extra dust off of there. Now our board is dried, we're going to make sure we get it sealed up so that it's protected the next time we want to use it. So we are going to start with a little of this butcher block oil, pour it on there, and then take a clean cloth and wipe it around. You'll see the wood starts to soak up the oil. You want to get the top, the sides, the bottom, everything. Um, you can do this on a cookie sheet if you're worried about making a mess. You could do it in your kitchen sink as long as you don't turn the water on. But the goal here is to get every bit of that wood covered in oil. Once you've got it completely oiled, you want to let it sit for a while and let that soak in. You can let it sit overnight. I like to do mine right before I go to bed. And then in the morning, if you see any dry spots, apply a little more oil. That way you know that it's good and moisturized. Once it has sat for a little while, we're going to apply a little bit of wax. The wax just helps create a protective layer on top. The friction of rubbing the wax on here will kind of melt it and help you get a really thin, even layer and then it will actually harden back up, which helps protect your board even more. Scrape out a little of the wax and start buffing it on your board. You wanna make sure you get in all the little grooves. The wax will also help to fill any other scratches that you didn't quite get sanded out so that you have a good even cutting surface. All right, so once I've got all the edges, all the routing, the surface, everything waxed really well, I'm gonna use a clean spot of my cloth and just buff it out one more time to make sure I remove any excess. In a couple of hours, this wax will harden and your cutting board will be as good as new. 